My very good friend Christian, who was sitting over, I mean, Christmas time is a slow time for lawn mowing, but it's a great time for, and that means you have a little bit more time to, to like think about stuff. So he was catching up on the does it run doom trend and figuring out that, well, with the spec on our computers, we have like, we have 320 kilobytes of internal RAM memory. We have a 160 megahertz CPU roughly. So the spec of this one is about the same as a computer back in 1992 when, when Doom was developed. So he took on the challenge and he, of course, he fixed it. He's one of the greatest programmers in, in Jönköping in, in, in Sweden. So he got it going and was happy with that, showed, showed some of his colleagues and, and that was good. Uh, then we have, had you heard about Mars Curiosity rover? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's also by spirit of some nice engineers. They made it sing happy birthday to itself. Because I mean, if you go to Mars alone, you need to like do something. I mean, even though it's a robot, but as an engineer, you start, you kind of relate to your products, I must say. Only sad thing is that 10 years after its anniversary, they had to shut off this singing capability because to save the batteries, <laughs> right? So together with Karin, we did a quite nice thing where we made 100,000 robots, enable them to sing happy birthday to Curiosity Rover, which became a huge success because we we're touching something sensitive, right? Something about emotions and robotics that, that, that was nice. So when the PR people came to, to our office to talk about that, Scene, they saw that, but what? Isn't that isn't that Doom running on the lawnmower? And Christian was like, Yeah, of course. <laughs> but they they said that okay, there's a there's a story in this. People are actually um, interested in in this. And I mean, we have been making products that are so good, so people understand that they have to buy them. To me, as an engineer, that makes sense. But I I hear that <laughs> that there are also ways of. <laughs> Uh, encouraging people to buy them that if they don't know about the product how could they then buy it so for me it makes sense yes okay let's create some hype about this let's let's show it to the world so what we did was uh, Karin and the PR people they called Bethesda or for me it's ID software I was 10 years old when Doom came so it's, they are like Comero, Cormac Romero, they are my heroes. I see you can relate to that. <laughs> I was just saying, it runs smoother than on the machine I used to play. Yeah, 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 it's really smooth. <laughs> it's really smooth. Uh, so, but what no one has ever done before is, is running it in deathmatch. I mean, the game changer of gaming today is player versus player, right? You play Fortnite together with your friends, against your friends. It's super engaging. In 1991, there was only single player. It was you against the monsters in Wolfenstein. But when Doom came, it brought the multiplayer gaming to, to the audience. So for DreamHack, this in November, we actually did that. We were running we were taking the we were running the game on the small microcontroller, which has been done before. I mean people are running it on pregnancy tests on, on everything. And then we took the game data through the networking <laughs> modules over over the UART to the Wi-Fi chip. And from the Wi-Fi chip, we connected to a, to a server on the PC, and then we could play two mowers against each other, which was kind of unique. But the, and the other thing that we're presenting today is that because it became popular, it became a hype, and since we are all about the customers and consumers, and Linda will talk more about that later, of course we want to also bring it to our customers, right? So for a limited release, we are now bringing Doom to, to consumers from April to September for the fun of it, because we can. And I mean, we are super focused on building consumer values, having high, robust quality, but, but we are also allowed to have a little bit of fun, I think, at least.